Hello and welcome to another IndyCar 2005 video game crash analysis. So as we can see here, we just took the green flag here at Indianapolis. This is only a 20 lap race and already you can see the leader is kind of bottlenecking the field. He's bunching them up, right? Um, so this is just on a replay. It's kind of hard to do, do it live. So as you can see, the number 42 car, he must be in fuel mixture one. He is bottlenecking the field, swerving left and right. It almost looks like they're in formation lap because they're all two wide and some some areas in the back are going three wide. It's just crazy racing, man. At Indianapolis, you never see this in real life. But in a video game land, anything is possible. So as you can see, come down the front stretch, they're all crazily tight. Two and three wide. It's <laughs> This is crazy, man. Oh, almost a crash right there. Going to turn one, two and three wide again. In real life, you never see this. There's the crash. Oh, he hit hard. Cars are flying. Oh, that car disappeared. That was an insane wreck. So let's go through this. There's a lot of onboard angles we're about to show you. Let's get into this. Okay, so this is Elio Kashinevs' onboard. As you can see, number 42, blocking. Chops the front wing. Ooh, that's a dangerous angle. Oh, flies. He just disappeared into the fence. <laughs> right back into the warm-up lane. Here's Scott Dixon's view. He's on the outside of Elio Castro Nevis. So far, so good. A little bit of weaving. Pow. Looks like, oh, looks like he's going to miss everything. Didn't even touch. Okay, here's Sam Hornish's view. He's on the outside of Jill DeFerrin. Right? Oh, almost a wreck right there. Okay. Elio gets clipped. Hornish just clipped the number 42, so he's got some front wing damage for sure. Okay, here's Jill DeFerrin's view. Hornish is on the outside. See, Jill almost spun out right there with that harsh weave. The hard weave, excuse me. So he gets clipped right there. Oh, he gets nailed in the back. Is he going to save it? No, he's going to go. Oof. That's a nice slide job right there. So right there, he just got some front wing and rear wing damage and probably some suspension damage in the back. Okay, here's Tony Kanaan's on board. As you can see, it's starting to get crazy up front with all the weaving. See, Jill and Hornish almost crashed right there. I'm surprised. There's the contact. Kanaan ran to the back. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, he's out of the race. As you can see, the smoke in the back. Tony Kanaan had a pretty wild ride there. Here's Tomas Schechter's on board. He's got Alonso Jr. on the high side. See, he's just getting crazy up front. <clears throat> All right, there was the contact. Thomas Schechter made a little little contact with Jill DeFerrin. He made some more contact there with Al Jr. Looks like he's just got some front wing damage. Here's Alonso Jr.'s on board. He's on the outside of Thomas Schechter. All this weaving at 230 miles an hour. There's the contact. Oh, is he going to save it? Looks like, oh, nope. So it looks like he's just got some right front damage. Okay, here's Kenny Brax on board. He's on the outside of Scott Sharp. He's kind of in a precarious position. There's the contact. He just caught, oh my goodness, he's the one that sent TK flying in the air. So he's got right front suspension damage and rear left. So here's Scott Sharps on board. He's on the inside of Kenny Brack. He too is also in a precarious position. He nailed Elio Castroneves. And he, quite frankly, almost flipped me. Rear wing damage, left front, there's probably a lot more damage to that car than what we can see. So here's Dan Weldon's on board. He's in a very precarious position here. There goes Brian Herta to the inside, late. There goes Alex Barron very late on him. That's what can start a crash too. Let's see here. Wow, that's just a massive crash. Looks like he's going to get through this on skate. He didn't touch anything. Very lucky. So here's Brian Herta. He's making those bonsai moves. He he almost made it three wide, and then he backed out of it. There's Alex Barron on the inside. 
There's the crash. Oh, oh, <laughs> he's out. Rear left, front wing. Oh, he got hit again. Wow. Okay, so last onboard I'm gonna sh wow. Last onboard I'm gonna show you is Alex Barron. Wow, he's making some crazy passes there. He almost got in a wreck just going into one. Looks like Alex Barron came through this on skate too. Everything just happened right in front of him. That's some smart driving there by the veteran. So this is my analysis of the crash, right? So the leader is in fuel mixture one, which is the slowest engine mode on the game. Besides fuel mixture zero when you're barely chugging along. Um, so fuel mixture one, the guy had it for two straight laps, right? So it bottlenecked the whole field behind them. So everybody's running two and three wide, close pack racing, nearly crashing every turn. And finally, on the second lap, coming out of turn one, he tried to block off Elio Kashinovs, but instead he clipped the front wing, and that's what started this massive chain reaction crash. Pretty crazy, right? <laughs> very, very irresponsible driving by the leader. Um, in real life, that could seriously get someone killed. Um, it's just a very nasty wreck. And mind you, everybody in that pack is going at least... 225 plus miles an hour and the leader is in fourth fourth gear fifth gear close to 220 miles an hour so everybody's bottled up behind him in that dirty air so what do they do they go two and three wide to try and pass him but they can't because the leader keeps weaving back and forth so so again it starts a nasty chain reaction crash very irresponsible very rookie like very cocky of him to just do that and as you see in all the onboards most of the people that made initial contact or the ones that actually went flying in the air they had the most damage of course knocked him out of the race all that could have been prevented had the leader been going at actual race pace and not fuel mixture one so that's just my analysis what do you guys think let me know down in the comments or Share this video if you really like it or if you think you could possibly replicate something like that. And I will see you in the next video and the next crash analysis when it comes out.